Hello, good afternoon. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's piping hot here today. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do part five of the Triamarang, the Trist 10. Uh, part five, as I promised you, we're going to go 3D. So if I said we're going 3D, we're going to go 3D. Uh, it's uh, maybe a little bit longer than the other ones. Uh, when uh, we will we will be starting off by putting the boat together with wire and uh, it, just uh, screwing in the transom and uh, dwarf and bringing the boat and that's what this video is all going to be about. So uh, I'll leave you watch what we were doing. Good morning. I haven't seen, I haven't been able to get at this job for a week now. Uh, I was waiting for the epoxy and uh, the fiberglass and that, but I had, I was tied up in something. So now uh, it's a week later and I'm going back into uh, hopefully putting the boat to get uh, the main hull together this week. And uh, as I said, I never done fiberglass before. Uh, we, uh, this is, uh, epoxy is a two part. Polyester is not suitable for plywood, right? So polyester will be a lot cheaper and a lot better on the environment, but this, they say the boat will only last a few years. So. I got lots of fiberglass because I think I'm going to use it on another one. This is normal woven uh, fiberglass cloth and I'm going to make the tape from it and uh, from the advice of Richard, uh, the, the, the one who draw the plan, he says cut it diagonally. So I'm going to cut it diagonally. It's going to be a little bit messy. I also, for, for thickener, for making thickener, there's not much, the plan doesn't say fillets very much, but we will be putting some fillets in. A fillet is a, a kind of a concave where, where two pieces made, made together. This calmed the cell. They said it's very hard to sand. I've never used it before. But I've got, they said sawdust go to, uh, because I'm a woodworker, we do collect sawdust from time to time. So I have uh, this one full and this one. It's mahogany but I don't think that matters but it's very very fine dust it's what we use for making fillers as well so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the, the, I have the all the parts over the other side I'll bring in I have to cut the the bottom of the boat remember the piece that goes like this we have to cut the back of that for where the transom meets it and that's going to be stitched as well so we will cut that first and then we will get a uh, electrical wire uh, copper wire and we'll cut them 80 millimeters is what he recommends now because my, the top of my boat is going over what I, I'll explain to you here we are we are using five millimeter plywood and the, the specific the plans are for four mm the, the side goes on top the side goes on top of the bottom like this right so if I'm going on top, this is five millimeters in and five millimeters on the other. So our transom might be a little bit big, right? So we will know in a, in a, in a short while if our transom is a little bit big. It's no problem. We will plane it up a little bit. The outside dim dimensions of the boat should remain the same. So it's going to be left like this and this is going to be stitched like this. And then we w when the inside of the boat is finished and all strong, then we turn it over and then we will uh, do, do the bottom of the boat. Was I saying to you earlier that because the other plywood is going down here, that this one might this one might be a little bit big? So we'll see. So I'll just put it on one side like this, and uh, it is a, uh, not much. So I just get a sample piece of wood and I'll put it in here like this, uh, and put the line here in the middle. No, that's fine. And on this side maybe. It's a slight bit different, so we will just the boat. The boat has to be very balanced. There's about and coming in at an angle. No, that is perfect. Okay, that's running flush there, and then this will be bull nosed with the plane before we start uh, glassing the outside of the boat. So the the transom is fine. We will be screwing the transom on, and we screw the transom here, 
and we screw the sides on. I think that's the first thing you do. But we won't be gluing it in first. We'll be gluing glu glu it in afterwards. Uh, we will just put it on with a few screws, uh, temporary screws, and uh, the sides the same. And uh, I think so anyway, and then we will glue it up afterwards. We can always take off one piece at a time and glue, but uh, it's always a good idea not to glue in the beginning anyway. So. So most of the cable we have over here, the, uh, the copper wire here is uh, multi-stranded. Uh, in Europe, in Ireland and the UK, n normally you'd have something like twin and air 2.5 or you'll have uh, electrical cable. Now, I had this left over. See it here? Where does it say? Made in England. <laughs> I never use it here because we use 2.0 here and we don't use a double insulated. We have TTHN, which is uh, for uh, heat rating as well. So I have to strip the two sheets off it, but it comes in one strand. And uh, so yeah, I'll take the outer sheet, you just make a little clip on, on it, and then you can pull it like this, and you can take the outer sheet off. So if you have a little wire stripper, it'll work, right? I have a wire stripper here, one of these mm, cheap ones. Uh, they're, they're an old design and uh, I'll put it on the second one in and I'll take three pieces at a time and then I'll take that one and when you think you're 80 millimeter over 80 millimeter then you cut it off with the snip and so you need to make probably need to make 50 or 60 of these and then we have our, our 1.5 which is fairly uh, strong okay so uh, we have, I have marked where I'm putting uh, the wires, I think. Uh, for this one, I have measured in eight millimeters. I've made up a little gauge. And I have eight millimeters on one and eight, five, so I've done eight on this. And because this one is going on top of this one, uh, there'll be another three, uh, another three millimeters here where the wire is going in, and that should be okay. I'm guessing that. And for the center, it's five millimeters each side. This part here, where I've only gone in with five, I've only gone in five millimeters here. This is the bottom. Not go, there's no need for one here because it's, this has been screwed to the transom. But we'll just drill the holes through it. And uh, you see our wires, we have, I've cut about 40 of them there. I think I need more, but anyway, we, for now it's fine. Uh, there's a little bit of adjustment in them uh, by using the one eight and uh, we'll just drill them all and I'll drill these ones and I'll put the wire in these ones uh, loosely and uh, to hold the whole thing together and then when we have it reasonably right on the on the floor we will bring it up onto this big bench here that'll be a couple of seconds for you and we will put the boat together okay it's afternoon now uh, We've cut up all our copper here. You can see it here. We've not at all, as much as we have. And I don't need that, Rex. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this one. Uh, not, not, I'm going to wire it temporary. I'm going to put this one, uh, our cut. So what we'll do is you put it up. I forgot to drill one hole here. Are they all else done? Is that why you're handing me the drill? Yes. And why didn't you say that? You're too shy to say it. I done them while, as well while he was having his lunch, and so you can make them like this. Look, you can make them like this, and just stick them down like this. Uh, in the instructions, they're saying tie them by hand, so we'll tie these up. Uh, make them into a a U. For this one, there's plenty of room for them anyway. You go under there and tie them, will you? So it's, at this stage of the build, it's good to have a hand. It doesn't matter who the person is, but you just need an extra pair of hands from, for a lot of the jobs that we're going to do in the next few days. They don't have as good a thread as these ones. I'll use these ones. I prefer a good threaded one. Can I have a screwdriver there, Rex, please? You won't get the drill in there. You'd be, from the line here, we go up maybe two millimeters. 
that's where the epoxy so sinks in now don't drive them home the whole way else he says Clamp it. There's nowhere to clamp. Okay. There's nowhere to clamp. No, no, it's fine. Just hold it. Just screw it. Over. Now, give me the piece of wood. That sounds good enough. And then I'll get it right here, and Rex will hold it down here. push it down I could use the battery drill on this if I wanted to or you could drill the you could drill the soft wood as well if you wanted to too that's it to go in a little bit Rex take it out got to going in a little bit push it that way Don't pull it in that way, it has to stay up there. So I'm going to do the middle one first. And because Rex won't be able to hold down here for me when I need him, so I will do them, this one. And I can screw this in here, Rex, don't you need, you don't need to, don't, you don't need to do much, okay? You can get a clamp in there, that should be fine. And then we can screw down here. Come on down here now. Put this one in first. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll go down here and we'll screw these. Now I have an extra hand here. Rex can go down here. We don't need to be here anymore. And I'll screw uh, the transom in. I've already set it up with the clamps. And then we're going to move the, the item onto the floor then. That's where the fun begins, I think. And I'm going to screw the, the bottom to the transom, I think. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in this end of it. We're going to t tie it in loosely with the copper. And uh, that's, that's, what, uh, that's what Richard says to do with, oh, well, in his plans, I presume <laughs> it's him. And uh, you're going to push these out. And uh, so you probably need two hands at this as well. So Rex, will you come down here and help me here? I'll do one in the middle here, put a couple of them in and then just do a little bit here and a little bit there and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to do every second one and then we'll push them out another little bit if we have to. When this one goes in, that one will go out. So maybe we'll put one down here. So we should be able to lift this up gently onto the table.
Now, that was not so easy. Not an awful lot. It's looking like a boat now. And uh, I might shine in here. I put this piece. Tomorrow I will put something on this and we will... Uh, uh, four by two or some, two by four I mean and we'll put it across here and we will tie the boat down to it that's going to keep the boat the boat has to be kept perfect for when we are when we are glassing it in case we hit off it like this so we will balance everything out then uh, it's coming in nicely here uh, yeah so what we're going to do we'll do all the final touches tomorrow tighten up the rest of these and we will finish off the front here and not necessarily have to cut this off we can cut it off afterwards but we will make sure that this is in the center and uh, that will be uh, that will be tomorrow because I have to go somewhere else and I only have a few uh, I don't have all day tomorrow for it so uh, that's our boat here for up to today and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes on the next episode okay so that's our uh, part five and uh, thank you very much for watching it uh, if you like this video or you want to keep following the series you can uh, you can uh, subscribe to our channel and click the bell down the bottom for notifications uh, I'm not sure how many episodes it's going to take uh, the boat to, to get it to to get it into the water or to get it finished is uh, t two different things. We have the ones on the outside and the one. So if you like this video and uh, d please uh, just subscribe up here and uh, click the subscribe button. We don't have that many subscribers here, and uh, we will be back with episode six uh, maybe in about four or five days or less, three days, four days, something like that.